Are you ready for AMD's HyperRX and Dragon Range? Intel is ready to catch some deep fakes and Nvidia is posting cryptocurrency stuff and they were allegedly hacked and they didn't do it by choice. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news that I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And just a reminder, onion. But we've got some new exciting details coming out about AMD stuff that's going to be happening in the future, especially with the RX 7900 series. AMD showed off the Hyper RX technology that's going to give you better gaming performance. But it turns out that AMD wanted to give us a little bit more details on the day when Nvidia was launching the RTX 4080 to take a little bit of the spotlight away. But Hyper RX is going to work remarkably similarly to how Nvidia is kind of doing things with DLSS 3. So you have AMD's RSR Radeon Super Resolution. It adds in Radeon Boost plus Radeon Anti-Lag, which is very similar to NVIDIA's Reflex technology that lowers the latency of your system. And it's going to be a simple one-click button in AMD software to give your computer better gaming performance by just clicking HyperRX on. It's gonna put all of those things together, lower your latency, boost your frame rates, as well as add super resolution technology. And this will be coming out in the first half of 2023. But AMD wanted to show this off with their latest generation GPUs. And they also gave some performance details showing that in a game like Dying Light 2, just clicking the Hyper RX on boosts the frame rates from 90 FPS to 166. And that was on the 1080p high preset, but thanks to all of the technology, it was actually outputting at 1440p, and the latency was reduced from 30 milliseconds to 11 milliseconds. So this one technology could be something that AMD might be bringing out to all of their GPUs. They haven't really talked about whether or not it's gonna be RDNA 3 exclusive, or if it will be at first when it comes out in the first half of 2023, but it does look like AMD wants to make it simple for you to actually get the most performance out of your PC if you're willing to sacrifice on a few areas. Radeon Super Resolution only uses FSR 1 and not FSR 2.0 technology, so there might be a few issues and hiccups there, but overall it does look like AMD is prioritizing your experience in a very easy way. This is on top of the fact that AMD wants you to know that their software, like Adrenaline, doesn't need you to log in like NVIDIA's does for GeForce Experience, and they consider themselves superior for that. Let me know if you would use a one-click button to get faster frame rate on your PC down below in the comments. And I want to talk about something that does seem to be pretty exciting when it comes to the mobile situation that AMD has going on. Dragon Range has been spotted with a higher core count CPU. Up till now, the Ryzen 9 CPUs in AMD's mobile lineup only got up to eight cores, but now it looks like it's going to be up to 12 cores and 24 threads. So this appears to be the Ryzen 9 78 45HX, which is going to be based on the Ryzen 9 7900X, so a large step up from previous mobile CPUs that AMD's provided. There's not a whole lot known about this besides the fact that it will be on Zen 4. It's going to come out in 2023. It's not clear if it's going to be monolithic or if it's going to have the chiplets like our own Ryzen 7000 desktop, but Dragon Range does look like it's going to be the pinnacle. But Dragon Range does look like it's going to be a very fast gaming chip for laptops. It's not quite the APUs that I'm looking forward to, but it does look like AMD might potentially be taking laptops a little bit more seriously with this latest generation. It's time for us to take seriously crypto stocks because it's it's been all right. Bitcoin's up 3% to be at 16,782. Ethereum's up 3% to be at 1250. Dogecoin's up 1.5% to be at 8.5 cents. But in regards to the FTX debacle that we've been talking about in previous episodes of Hot News, FTX allegedly owes money to more than a million people with reports saying that there are more than a million credit that FTX potentially owes money to, but will not have any cash to pay them. And what we're seeing now is some fallout that's happening with other crypto exchanges or blockchain related assets are now also starting to go bankrupt because of FTX not having any funds for them to be able to withdraw. It does look like it's creating a cascading effect that might create larger problems overall, which Reese is a smaller problem since he lives remotely. Isn't that right, Reese? Hey, welcome back to UFD Deals, bringing the hottest tech deals out on the internet. The Black Friday deals keep rolling in, so we're going to keep you updated with all the latest audio deals, starting with the Nest Mini second generation. This tiny little smart speaker makes for a great gift at only $19.99. You can have a full array of colorful satellite speakers all around your house. But if you want something a little bit more private, the Sony WH-CH710N, which is their wireless noise cancelling over ear headphones, currently going for $68, which is $81.99 off. But then if you want to go all out, the KEF Q-Series 5 quarter inch bookshelf speakers are currently going for $299.98, which is a whole $399 
$300 or 50% off. I think these things look gorgeous. They come in satin white, black and walnut and they'll fit perfectly on any desk setup. And don't forget, you can find these deals and more linked in the video description. And with that, back to the rest of your hot news. Cheers. He lives remotely from me. He used to be in America and now we not anymore. No, I'm a sad for that. And Elgato is making a Stream Deck Plus. That was a weird segue. The Elgato launching the Stream Deck Plus, which has a few buttons and a few knobs. It's kind of comparable to the Loop Deck that has been in the editing scene for a while. Elgato showing this off, kind of making it seem like it might be more for production rather than just streaming. Being able to make fine adjustments with the things that you're trying to implement in your stream is a little less frequent than you trying to do something in a video editing software like Premiere. And the knob of whether or not you're gonna to buy Cyberpunk 2077 might be tuned a little bit because they've announced that their Phantom Liberty DLC, which really is an expansion pack based on how CD Projekt Red classifies their DLC. They give away free DLC, but then these things will be expansion packs that you pay money for. Very similar to The Witcher 3's Blood and Wine expansion, you do have to pay money for it. The Phantom Liberty expansion to Cyberpunk 2077 will cost money and potentially have a few updates that might make it worthwhile. And Netflix is updating to make it a little bit easier to log out of different accounts that you may have had access to on different devices across the years. They're now going to allow you to remotely log out of different devices individually from the account that you're logged into. The manage access and devices page will only be available on the web, iOS or Android. So it's not gonna be everybody who has access to a Roku stick or elsewise where you've logged into Netflix will be able to kick you out of your own account, but this will help to allow you to revoke certain access to things that you may have logged into a hotel TV room and people are still watching it. I've done this several times. I've gone to Airbnbs with my family and then we're like, we log into the TV and we're just using other people's Netflix accounts because I'm like, I'm not logging into mine. Yeah, why would I log into mine? It doesn't make any sense. But now you could revoke that, which is, this is a great thing. Obviously this is Netflix attempting to get more money out of the users who have been bumming off of other people for quite some time. And so getting your access revoked by the main account holder would make it so that you're more likely to opt back into it in case you want to watch some of Netflix's stuff, which I mean, Edge Runners was the last good thing. They do have that new Witcher show that's coming out December 25th. I'm slightly excited for that. I feel like I was watching something else on Netflix recently. Dahmer. Dahmer. You were watching Dahmer. Dahmer, Jeffrey Dahmer. All right. You know he's the real Kyler because he's super cringe. And you know how you find out real videos from fake ones? Well, you listen to Intel because they're announcing their fake catcher technology that uses AI based on things that Intel has trained to catch deep faked videos, which are made by AI. So it takes an AI to find an AI, but a lot of the things that they use are specific things that very few people would know how to look for, such as blood flow in the pixels of the video because AI doesn't know how to replicate your blood flow yet. But one day they will, and then Intel will have to update this. Intel saying that it has up to a 96% accuracy rate, making sure that it catches all of the deep fakes that are out there, which will help obviously for political reasons, as well as a various host of other reasons. Having fake videos out there is a bit more damning than having fake pictures and fake audio. Actually having all of that synthesized together could create some issues where you're not sure of what reality is, and Intel is trying to help keep you grounded, which I appreciate. I thought that was the last article. Turns out we got another one. That's my bad. NVIDIA has got, got hacks. NVIDIA Taiwan, which is one of the Twitter accounts that's actually been uh, dormant since 2019, start tweeting about Dogecoin that you could potentially get. It's the Dogeathon 2022. You can click on the link and then get access to it. And this is the official Taiwanese account for NVIDIA. You can see that it's not verified because they paid for it. It was verified because it's real. And that's something that you actually have to look at if you see a verified account actually tweeting out crap that you're you're not sure of you could be like is this the real one is it not what's going on turns out it did get hacked and it's now been suspended and i have a direct message which doesn't happen very often but what does happen very often is the end of hot news i'll be back here tomorrow for more